Mel, I had the vision of Bob stepping off the set, taking off his jacket, and then handing it like to you. Like passing the torch. Yeah, that was sort of my, my vision when I was suggesting it. But hey, he had an extra one, yeah. and it worked. He was like on the back of my chair. I think I've got an extra one. <laughs> well, thank goodness. All right, well, yes. it looks good. It looks good on you. Thank you. Uh, this looks good, too. As Stu mentioned it, grape roll. I'd like to uh, take credit for that, or we would like to take credit for that. But it's the National One Service in San Diego. Hey, I think they, they coined a new one you know we talk about that stuff like may gray and june bloom now we've got the grape roll which has been the dominant feature in our forecast for what seems like forever but really this whole entire past week we've talked about the marine layer and the low cloud cover how thick it is and how it's extended all the way inland and also deep enough to produce the light drizzle which is still in the forecast by the way we have let's see an area of low pressure disturbs weather that's moving off to our northeast we have a little one that's up to our north that's just going to continue to reinforce the onshore flow until we get to the weekend and the weekend will provide us with uh, an area of high pressure which will give us more sunshine and warmer temperatures. Right now, though, look at the uh, arrows. Definitely the entre flows with us. Temperatures in the 50s as we get to the afternoon. We'll get to those 60s, but below average highs will continue to get to Palm Springs to get those low 80s. The rest of the forecast coming up. Back to you. All right, thank you very much. Now to our news here at 604. The USC campus remains closed to the general public today following a pro-Palestinian protest that ended in that ended in dozens of arrests. Yeah, it was a wild and, and chaotic scene there yesterday. Yeah. So some of those who were arrested were actually taken to the LAPD 77 station. 